April 2021 is a truly blessed month, and especially today, April the 13th, when Sikhs are celebrating Vasakhi, Hindus, Chaitre Navratri, Godi Padwa, Chaiti Chand, and Muslims Ramadan. This past year has been challenging and humbling for all of us, irrespective of our faith background. But as we celebrate, but also as we reflect on not being able to celebrate our religious festivals together for a second year in a row, I am reminded of the important messages of discipline, sacrifice, reflection and empathy, but also service, compassion and humility that are embodied in these religious festivals. As I think about today's significance, I recall how the Muslim, Hindu and Sikh community are required by their faith traditions to serve all of humanity. When I reflect on Vasaki, I am reminded how Guru Gobind Singh transformed the individual Sikh into a collective identity through the establishment of the Khalsa Panth, an institution that was focused on the restoration of human dignity through the embodiment of values and qualities that make strong leaders and institutions. The five men who offered their lives to, to Guru Gobind Singh were the first to be initiated into the Panth by the Guru and came to be known as the Panch Biare, the five beloved ones, with each of their names representing the qualities a Khalsa Sikh should have. They are compassion, dharam, righteousness, himmat, courage, mokam, determination, and sahib, sovereignty. These values are universal values of selfless and responsible behavior, which Guru Gobind Singh envisaged for the Khalsa Panth to embody so that we can create and live in a just world. As a community, these unwavering set of core values are relevant today. And as a community, we are encouraged to perform seva and to be concerned with the welfare of all because of the universality of humanity. Manas ki jat sabe eke pachan ho. Recognize the whole human race as one. For Sikhs, Hindus and Muslims, our religious life remains incomplete if we do not partake in the service to humanity. This service, Seva, has been seen in abundance over the last 13 months. The Sikh, Hindu and Muslim community during this pandemic have engaged in social action in the UK, but also throughout the world. During this pandemic, Sikh Godwaras, Hindu Mandirs and Muslim mosques, alongside other faith organisations and institutions, have used this ethical requirement as a means of supporting their local communities. We have seen a deep sense of duty and responsibility alongside strong collective leadership. Godwaras, mandas and mosques have risen to the challenges that have been put in their way, whether it be to help those who are vulnerable or whether it be to encourage members of our communities to get vaccinated. As we celebrate these religious festivals and as we begin to move out of this pandemic, I hope we can reflect and recognise how we have more in common than that which divides us and make a commitment to seeing relationships alongside our universal values of service, compassion and humility that transcend religious boundaries flourish so that we can build together an equal and just society in which we counter inequality, prejudice, oppression and protect religious freedoms. So on this day, where Sikhs and Muslims and Hindus are celebrating their religious festivals. I would like to end on by saying Happy Vasakhi, Happy Chaitre Navratri, Godi Padwa, Chaiti Chand and Ramadan Mubarak to all. Mm -hmm.